This question is about combining shapes. The shape on the left is the base shape. The sum next to it shows the shapes that should be added to or taken away from the base shape. Some of the sides of the shapes are marked with letters. Matching letters show where the sides of the two shapes must meet. Pay attention to the addition and subtraction signs. Shapes that are white should be added to the outside of the base shape. Shapes that are grey should be taken away, cut out, from the base shape. The final combined shape may have been rotated, spun round, from the base shape's original position. Select the answer option that correctly shows the final combined shape. In order to answer this question, we're going to add this shape and this shape to this base shape ensuring that sides of the shapes which are labelled with a letter match the sides of the base shape which have the same letter. The resulting shape will be one of these five answer options and to help us decide which one to choose, we can look at this section in closer detail. Like this. We'll begin by adding this shape. Currently it's in the wrong orientation because we need to align this side with this side of the base shape, so we're going to need to rotate the shape in order for that to happen. If I rotate this shape 180 degrees, this is how it looks. The side of the shape, labelled X, is now here, meaning I can align it with the base shape like this, so the shape fits into the base shape like so. Now we can add the second shape in the same way. This time it's this side of the shape which needs to align with this side of the base shape. So once again we will need to rotate the shape in order for this to happen. A 180 degree rotation of this shape means it will look like this. And I can now align the two sides which are labelled Y with one another, like so. Finally, if I remove the lines, you can see the shape we've created. It looks something like this, but we should be aware that the shape might rotate, so it could be in a different orientation amongst the answer options. So here is the shape we created, and here are those five answer options. Let's begin with option A. Although this section is correct, you can see that this section is incorrect. We should have a right angle in this bottom right hand corner and here there is a triangular section, so A can't be correct. In B, although this section of the shape is as it should be, this section of the shape is incorrect. This diagonally placed line is this way round in the shape we're looking for, but it's the opposite way round in B, meaning that there is a right angle here which is not present in our shape. In option C, Although this section is correctly placed, and this section is also correct, you can see that this squared off section should be at the top, like this, and not to the side, like this. In D, although this is correct, there is no triangular section here. This section is correct, but this section is incorrect, so D is not the right answer. Look at option E though. It's exactly the same as the shape we created. Although, of course, the example is larger, E is exactly the same shape, and therefore the correct answer to this question. Top tip. Remember, grey shaded shapes will still align with the correct letter, but represent a section which is taken away from the base shape. White shaded shapes are added to the base shape. Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, the shape on the left is the base shape. The sum next to it shows the shapes that should be added to or taken away from the base shape. Some of the sides of the shapes are marked with letters. Matching letters show where the sides of the two shapes must meet. Pay attention to the addition and subtraction signs. Shapes that are white should be added to the outside of the base shape. Shapes that are grey should be taken away, cut out, from the base shape. The final combined shape may have been rotated, spun round, from the base shape's original position. Select the answer option that correctly shows the final combined shape. 
In order to answer this second similar question, you're going to add this shape and this shape to the base shape, ensuring that sections which are labelled with a letter match the correct side of the base shape. The resulting shape is one of these five answer options. So when you're ready, pause the video and work out the correct answer to this question. Try to do so within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, resume the video and we'll check your answer together. In order to answer this question then, let's take a closer look at this section. Like this. We're going to begin by adding this shape to the base shape, but we will need to rotate the shape in order to do so, because at the moment this is the section of the side labelled X, and this is the side of the base shape it must align with. It means that we're going to need to rotate the shape around so that this side is in the same alignment as this side, like this. The part of the side of the triangle labelled X is now here. The shape has rotated 135 degrees anti-clockwise and it means that I can align both of those parts labelled X, like this. Now we're going to add this shape. To do that, once again we're going to need to rotate the shape. Currently, the side of this shape, which is labelled Y, is here. To align it with this side of the base shape, I will need to rotate it around, like this. The shape rotated 180 degrees, and you can see that that side, labelled Y, is now in this orientation, meaning I can align it with the side of the base shape, also labelled Y. Finally, I can remove the lines, and you should be able to see the shape we're looking for more clearly. It looks like this. Of course, the shape might rotate, so be prepared to look for this shape in a different orientation amongst the five answer options. Here is the shape we created then, and here are those five answer options. In option A, you can see that the two shapes here creating the figure do not represent the shapes we've created. A, therefore, is incorrect. In B, once again, the shapes are not correct. These two shapes are different but are quite similar in size, and in B we have a larger shape and a smaller shape, so this is incorrect as well. Option C, however, looks identical. You can see this triangular section, like this. This diagonal line, bisecting this vertical one, just as we see in the shape we'd created. The right angles here and here, just as they should be. The right angle section here and here just as they should be, and the remaining parts of the shape all have the same relationship to one another. It means that C could be the right answer. In option D and option E, you can see this triangle is attached to a larger shape in both cases, but we know that these two shapes are quite similar in size. So D and E can be eliminated, and it means then that C was indeed the right answer to this question. Top tip. It may be useful to try to imagine all of the possible orientations of the new shape. Try to picture the shape rotating round and think about where the features would be in relation to one another.